Hello guys and welcome to this tutorial to learn how to download, install and update Blender from a zip file and how to make it portable. I will also show you how I install multiple Blender versions and why. This tutorial is part of my new beginner friendly Grease Pencil class on Skillshare and other platforms. Find the links in the description. If you don't have a Skillshare account, you can attend the class for free by following my link. You will get a one month free trial to watch my class and any other class you want on their platform let's start to download blender you need to go to blender.org so here we are and you get this button here download you click on it and we can directly download it from this button since I'm using Windows I can click on the Windows download or you can go here and you get more options so we have some options for Windows for Mac OS and for Linux. For Windows, we can either download an installer, which is the most common option for most software. We can download the portable version, which comes as a zip file. And we can also download Blender from the Microsoft Store. I personally prefer to download the zip file or the portable version. Once the download is complete, you can open your zip file on Windows. You just double click on it. And then you double click again on this folder and you can select all these files do Control c or right click and do copy then what i do is i create a folder in my local disk the c disk that i name blender and here i have multiple versions of blender because sometimes i want to test files on older versions of blender and also have the newest versions, the unstable versions. I like to test new features and I like to find and report bugs to developers. That is a very simple yet effective way to be an active participant in Blender's development. So I create a folder like this in my Blender folder named 4.0 and if I open it, I get all the files here. Yours of course will be empty and you paste here the files that we copied from our zip file. If you want to update your installation, you will have to first delete all these files. So we select them all, shift, delete. Are you sure you want to permanently delete these 20 items? Yes. And once you delete everything, you can right click and do past. Here in Windows 11, I click on this icon and I can copy all the new files. So now you can double click on this file here and open your blender and this is the first thing that we get when we open it for the first time if you have an older version and you want to import your settings and add-ons etc you can click on this button if not you can go ahead here and click save new settings now we have this we can open a new file a general file to the animation sculpting vfx video editing and we want to open the 2d animation template so we click on it or we can go here to file new and open it from here to the animation and this is our 2d canvas now to a bonus that is not included in the class how to make blender truly portable so here is blender 4.0 you can go inside if we open blender launcher you see that I get all my customizations on my Blender. Let's close it again. That's because all those settings are stored here in the local disk under users, under your username. There is a folder structure in which the settings are stored. But to make it portable, you need to go inside this folder here and add a new folder. Right click, new folder and name it config, enter. And now if I get back here, and open the launcher again you see that my settings are back to default and now everything all my settings will be stored inside this new folder and even my add-ons and everything so now blender is truly portable and you can put this folder in an external drive and run it from any computer and now of course you will need to be careful when you update your installation you will need to back up this folder before deleting the files and installing the new updated files so this is it guys, thank you for watching, the links to the class are in the description, see you in another video and peace.